welcome everybody welcome 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 hey don't forget to follow me on twitter as that you see right here at the bottom right hand corner there that's my twitter page go ahead and follow me and you can find my all my uh when i'm going live and when i got a new video coming up and whatnot but welcome this is a uh, armor 3 asylum uh also don't forget to hit that thumbs up yeah yeah there we go and uh yeah it's Arma 3 Asylum, and we're going to be showing you guys how to do some meth today. So, uh, yeah, right now I'm stuck in jail, unfortunately. I uh, didn't pay some car tickets, so or some speeding tickets, so yeah. But uh, we're going to head out of jail. Once we get out of jail, we're going to go ahead and collect a few things that you're going to see here. Uh, collect, um, we need, uh, you need a few essentials uh, that I didn't put on here. You need um, uh, night vision goggles. A gun, backpack. Um, here is where I'm going to show you what you need. You need to collect. You need a house near this area because the ephedrine is the red circle there, and then the phosphorus is right next to it. And up here is the hydrogen sulfate right up there. So yeah, um, you need a uh, night vision goggles, a backpack, a gun for sure. Um, a carry-all backpack would be preferred uh, a nice vehicle and then this stuff here you need a uh, meth cook um, you need weed processor uh, heroin junkie and I think those are the three talents you need to unlock for sure um, after you get your backpack your your stuff it's all up to you uh, I bought a house uh, which you'll see here yeah there you go um, I bought a house, and then I bought a storage and put my stuff in storage in my house. So that probably it's it's all just preference depends up to you. Um, once you get that, you get your carry-all backpack, your night vision goggles, your binoculars, your gun, um, and get a vehicle. That's pretty much all you need. Then you can go out and start collecting your. Um, start collecting your your essential necessities like you would need uh, normally so you go and collect the phosphorus uh, the ephedrine and uh, you need the hydrogen sulfate so first off we're gonna go collect the phosphorus um, you don't want to be staying in these situations for very long uh, because it's quite quite the deal there's the map there and a few things I did forget the carry-all backpack and the uh, vehicle and whatnot but you don't want to be sitting in this situation for very long and you definitely don't want to have a handgun rook you want to have something different and I eventually do go get me a, uh, a the scar so yeah you want to get in get collect your phosphorus or your ephedrine or hydrogen sulfate whatever it is and get out because there's a lot of people doing the same thing you're doing this makes really good money, but you got to keep your ears open, keep a lookout for everything. You got to turn all your sounds off, and even the birds chirping and stuff, so you can hear footsteps and hear everything. Because this is a dangerous, this is a dangerous thing to be doing here, especially when you're collecting all the stuff for yourself. You can collect all this stuff and still make a good ten thousand dollars off of you know a few. Uh, the point here is uh, off of off of uh, 15 I believe they sell for like 2400 or 2450 a piece I believe um, I don't quote me it just depends on how many people are on and how many people are doing what at the time are selling so um, yeah you go ahead you get that you get all this stuff done and then uh, you get collect all your ingredients and then once you collect all your ingredients you drop them in there and if you have an RV uh, you can cook up crank in your RV or you can go down to the meth processor I personally don't go to the meth processor because I can cook up my meth and crank on my own because I do have an RV so you guys will see that here in a few um, I have an RV so I go ahead and I put all my 
essential you know, phosphorus, ephedrine, and hydrogen sulfate in the RV, and I take the RV up to a non-disclosed area, and I cook my crank up that way, and that sells for about twenty-five fifty a piece, so about a hundred more than what the mess sells for. They sell for the same one of the two. So yeah, I had to come back over here to get some more because I was missing a few. Uh, I happened it is I got into an accident. I hit a fence, blew up my vehicle, and I had about 180 hydrogen sulfate on me and or uh, phosphorus on me. So I had to go back and uh, collect the rest of it. So that's what you see me do here. And then after this, we get our RV and uh, yeah. So if you guys like this video, please, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, we are having a giveaway. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, we're having a giveaway of a GTX 1050 Ti. Uh, here you go with the RV, and we're putting everything in the RV, and this will be fast forwarded. Uh, 1050 Ti uh, GPU. So uh, get on that. Um, it just link and everything will be in the description so appreciate you guys all for watching thank you so much and uh enjoy So we're all done with that. We got all our ingredients mixed up. We got about 70 um, crank cooked up. And we test run. This is what you want to do. You want to test run. You want to grab about 15 of them. We came down to Piergos. And uh, we grabbed about 15. Now this is about $12,000 worth. Uh, 15 crank at this point in time is about twelve thousand dollars worth it's worth more than that but you have to get um you have to join a gang and then once you join a gang you have to get um de depending on if that gang has control of the cartel at not at the time um you join a gang 
and if that gang has the control of the cartel then you're able to get uh, less they'll take less cut of your profit um, so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed appreciate it leave a like share subscribe comment um, again the uh, how to win will be in the description appreciate you guys thank you so much have a great weekend